One of the manufacturers with the most mixed opinions from his various customers is Bachmann. Many model railroaders viewed their products as low, poor quality, while others praised them for having decent models for a lower price. However, I think their MSRPs in recent years have been ridiculous. Fans of Tom's Tinkajin love their models as they are arguably the best at providing electrically operated models of the famous characters. But one thing that most people seem to have similar opinions on is that their track system, aka Easy Track, isn't the greatest quality for professional modeling, but it is great for star sets. After receiving a bunch of steel alloy Easy Track secondhand recently, I thought I'd give it a try and see for myself what it's like. While the amounts of easy check I got all came on box since it was second hand, you will usually either buy them in star sets, box expander sets, or in typical track cards where you will have four straights or four curves. One thing to keep in mind is how there are two versions of easy check. There's the type where the rails are made out of steel alloy, and another where the rails are made out of nickel silver. The steel alloy type comes in black row bed and the nickel silver kind comes in gray roll bed. If I'm honest, even if this is seen as the lower quality version of Easy Track, I really don't dig the appearance of it. It's a nice touch that the plastic road is textured to look like ballast, but the plasticky appearance Regardless of the color, kills that very quickly. There is an option to balance the track if you so desire, which does admittedly improve the appearance, however this also may come from bias. Especially since before having easy track, I had Kato unit track, which I consider to be much better in terms of quality and appearance. In unit track's case, its roadbed is not only textured to look like the ballast, but also colored more accurately. Be honest with me, which type of track do you think, out of the box, is more realistic? It's easy to bring in the fact that you can easily customize whatever type of track you get to make it more realistic, but the aesthetics part here is showcasing how the review product looks out of the box, not what you can do yourself to improve its appearance. There is one thing I will say Easy Track has as an advantage over Unit Track that, unlike the latter, Bachmann's Easy Track is shaped just like the regular Snap Track, which makes it much easier to be compatible with said type of track. As you can see here, I can attach a piece of Atlas Track to it easily. But that's the only plus Easy Track has over Unit Track. Everything else is pretty mediocre. It's harder to put together since you have to focus on two things joined together, both the plastic rail clips and the rail joiners. And as I noticed with the track I received, this makes joiners much more prone to being bent out of shape. The track here, since it's steel alloy, is also much harder to clean and much more prone to rusting than that of the nickel silver track. The worst part of easy track I would have to say are the switches. Some of my engines will stall on them, and they have a tendency to not stay in the position they're supposed to be thrown in. If you were to run an engine over the switches when they're thrown against it, the engine can easily push it into the other position. One nice thing the switches have over the, their unit track counterparts is that they already come with the electric throw bars, but they're a lot more... cheap, I feel, in terms of quality. And I believe the ones that came with switches I received were lost to time. If you were to build a serious model railroad and want good performance, you might want to see your way from this stuff.
There are tons of different variations of EasyChat that you could purchase, but I'm only going to list the variations shown in this video. A pair of four 18-inch radius curves will retail for $13.50, as does a pack of four 9-inch straights. The remote turnouts retail for $38. Finally, the terminal rear roller that attaches the track to the power wire retails for $12.50. I honestly think these are overpriced, especially given the poor quality of the steel alloy rails. But lucky for me, all this track was given to me by a friend of mine who decided to quit the hobby, so I really got all of it for free. But I know that there's a lot of people who don't have that same luxury, so as always, I recommend looking for places that discount the prices of their products. They're usually much more reasonable than the MSRP. I'm going to have to give the Bakuman Easy Track a 4 out of 10. Even though this track would be good for temporary layouts, I would still recommend getting the nickel silver variations. But even then, there are still better options for track out there, such as Unitrack. And if you're building a permanent layout and have more patience, you could try using FlexTrack with Roadbed. You can have all the premium quality model trains you want from Broadway Limited, Athern, Kato, Wallers, or Rapido and still have poor track. No track, no trains. It's a simple philosophy that hopefully most model can understand.